Welcome to our master's program Cognitive Sciences and Technologies from Urine to Cognition. Cognitive science is a scientific discipline that studies senses, brain, and mind. In this video, I will introduce some of our core faculties in the program and their research. Vasily Klucherov is the director of Institute for Cognitive Neuroscience. He investigates neural mechanisms of decision making using functional magnetic resonance imaging (fMRI). He studies and teaches neuroeconomics, which provides biologists, economists, psychologists, and social scientists with deeper understanding of how people make decisions. Neuroeconomists create powerful new models to explain why we make decisions. Neurobiological mechanisms of decision making, decisions under risk, trust, and cooperation are central issues in this new field of research. Anna Shostakova is the director of Center for Cognition and Decision Making. Research projects in the center covers diverse topics in cognitive science, for example, decision making, memory, learning, and metacognition. Many of these projects use electroencephalography (EEG), transcranial magnetic stimulation (TMS), and high-speed eye tracking system. Boris Chernyshev is the head of laboratory of cognitive psychophysiology. He conducts projects studying brain mechanisms of cognitive processes such as cognitive control, language, attention, perception, learning, and conscious awareness. His main research methods include EEG and also magnetoencephalography (MEG). He is especially interested in errors of decisions. For example, a mechanisms of learning from errors, brain activity related to uncertainty during decisions, and brain responses to feedback signals after correct and erroneous actions. Alex Sasachi leads Center for Bioelectric Interfaces and develops algorithms and technologies to decipher brain signals measured using EEG, MEG, and fMRI. These algorithms, for example, can find brain areas that are involved in information exchange or help in detecting pathological brain activities and locating their origin. He also develops non-invasive and invasive brain-machine interfaces for the tasks of post-stroke neurorehabilitation prosthetics control, and gaming. Matteo Fiura leads research in memory and motor control brain processes by using non-invasive brain stimulation such as transcranial magnetic stimulation TMS. A cortical area of the brain can be stimulated with a resolution of 1 square centimeter by delivering a single pulse TMS. It is delivered through an advanced neural navigation system it allows us to test relationship between specific brain regions and their functions with high precision. John McInnes leads research group on attention, computational models, and eye movements (ACME). He studies deep learning models of vision and eye movements. He uses neural networks and other statistical models to understand how the ocular motor system works and when it doesn't work. He uses high-speed eye tracking system for measuring human eye movements to test his theories. The measured data is also used for training his neural net models to improve its performance. Tadamasa Savada studies visual perception and its relevant topics using behavioral, computational, and mathematical approaches. In his behavioral experiments, he uses stereo 3D glasses, a head mount display, and an augmented reality device. Computational models are developed based on empirical data to emulate human behavior. Mathematical approaches are used to derive theories of vision and to analyze a relation of perception with distal and proximal stimuli. There are many other interesting research projects in the program, but unfortunately I can't introduce all of them in this video. Please check the website of our program and research projects of individual faculty members online. Thank you very much and see you in Moscow.